Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you my pink soul box. <laughs> anyway, um, I've already opened it, which is probably a good thing because after I opened it and looked and seen what was in here, I thought I want to do a different kind of video with this and kind of demo some of the products as I'm showing them to you because there's one product in here that I'm very, very interested in. And I wanted to show you it as I'm using it anyway so that's why I don't have any makeup on who kind of scary my hair is not done <laughs> it's just pulled back and um, I've cleansed my face I've done a, a, a um, mask I did the tea tree not the tea tree I'm sorry the seawater mask um, clay mask from um, Papa, Re Papa recipe um, I'll have a separate video talking about this, but I did that because that's a clay mask that turns into a cleanser. And then I put my Murad um, spot correcting serum on and that has set and that has all I've done to my face. So we're going to show this one product first because I want to get this started and get it on my face. But anyway, it's from the brand um, Soon young and it's a dry caps capsule street sheet from a toot house can't even talk i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that because it's white let's see probably not probably not anyway i'll i'll try and have little annotations down here but what they are is in this little pack here oh and pink soul is a korean skincare subscription service that's bi-monthly so every other month you'll get a box of products um, skincare products uh, try to get the little sheet out and it has the little sheet in here that tells about each product and the cost of it but anyway this is um, some little sheet mask and they're travel friendly because they are actually dry they're in these little pods right here and the way they're supposed to work, now I don't know because I haven't used them, we're going to use it together, is that you're supposed to be able to put in your, your own favorite essence or uh, moisturizing toner, whatever you wanted to use, a serum, and create your own sheet mask. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I thought, well, we could do this on camera and um, try it and see because I'd be interested to see how how big the sheet actually gets and just how well these work. I mean, if, if they work really good and if you do a lot of traveling and you like to sheet mask, I mean, this could be a way to um, incorporate sheet mask, but then again, sheet mask, um, that actual package is a sheet mask, don't take up much room. I cannot get this open. <laughs> so I'm struggling here. <laughs> can't get the, well, it's the little, there we go. I got it. Okay. So I'm going to peel this open. I guess y'all just probably want to see that. I'm just peeling that little film off of there, which was in there pretty good. And this is the little um, sheet mask. It looks like a, it looks like a giant Rolade actually is what it looks like. So uh, my little thingy was a little Bent. so I'm gonna get it put it down in there and then the product that I'm gonna use in there is the next product that was in the box and this is the co I don't know cocaine I don't know I don't know how to pronounce this it's gonna be in the bottom but it's a flower scent aloe soothing toner so I thought well let's use this to create a sheet mask and we'll put that on and then uh, while that's on, I'll show you the rest of the stuff that's in this box. And then I'll tell you a little bit about pricing on these other two products. But I wanted to get this open. Feel this on my... Let's have this. Okay. It's got one of those thingies on there. I was trying to pour it out. I'm thinking this one's coming out. These things, these little thingies right here are good. I mean, I understand why they're using them. But um, they are so hard to get off, especially when you have have fake nails. This makes everything difficult. There we go. Now we go. All right. So let's put this little lid back on there, and let's 
pour some on my hand. Oh, okay, that just came out in a little drop. I wanted to see if it was like, has definitely a little bit of a flower scent to it. But I wanted to make sure that it wasn't like sticky feeling. Doesn't feel like it. Okay. All right, here we go. Now we're going to be little little chemist here and we're going to put that in there. Okay. I don't know how much I need to put in there. But it's definitely puffing up. Um like those little travel towels. Have you ever seen those? They're like in like the little gift shops are just little gimmick thingies and then they're supposed to be, you know, little squares and then you put water in them and then they get big. This is what this reminds me of. I wonder if I got enough. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to pour some more in there. Because I'm not really for sure how much I need. There is no directions on this part. Well, there is. Well, Maybe there is. Hang on. I'm going to set this down. Let's look at the directions. What does it say on here? It says, pour toner onto the dry sheet. When the dry sheet is fully swol swollen after retaining enough toner, attach the sheet on the face. Leave on for 5 to 10 minutes. I think that's got enough in there. Let's roll it out and see. Let's see if we got enough in there. Feels pretty satur saturated. And then that's what the little mask looks like there. I'm thinking I may have, could have probably used a little bit more. So it's not as drippy as I would like for it to be, but okay. Now we're going to put our mask on. Oh, that toner smells good. That smells really good. Yeah, I definitely would have wanted a little bit more product on there. Not a whole lot more, but a little bit more. And the sheet looks like it fits pretty good. So I get this little nose thingy going here. I always have difficulties with those. I mean, it looks pretty long. Um, if I pull it down any longer though than the mouth thingies there. Okay, so there we go. There's our, our sheet. We're going to leave that on. Um, I didn't quite get coverage here with the sheet. We're on this side, so it's not quite wide enough, but I have a pretty round face. Um, it looks like it's definitely long enough, um, but I got it on looking pretty decent. Let me look at my mirror. Yeah, I think so. And it seems like it's like a cottony, a cottony feel sheet mask or mask. Yeah, okay. So anyway, so that was that. Let's, let's do the surprising on how much those little pods are. Um, those are six dollars, and you've got how many was in here? There was five, five little um, gauze sheets there for six dollars, and then the toner is um, thirteen dollars. This has um, seven. Herb extracts grown in the Jeju Islands. Um, and the one that I received, there was different ones that you would receive in your box based on your skin, your skin type. Because when you sign up for this, you do like a little a little survey and questionnaire, and then they send ones to you that's based on your skin type. And um, the aloe soothing is leave skin moisturized and calm skin. I would really have liked to have the hyaluronic one, which was for hydration and for vitalization, or even the rose softening one would have been good. Um, the milk brightening one would have been good. <laughs> there were several that I would have liked. I may have to check those 
those out. But anyway, it's a very nice, just like, like you've seen, it's just a very watery, um, definitely a toner. Um, some kind, sometimes toners, even though they say toners, they have the thicker consistency that they're almost like an essence and you would probably use them as an essence step instead of a toner step. But this is definitely a, a nice toner. Um, I'm going to put some on my neck here. I haven't done anything to my neck yet. So we're just going to pat that on. You can probably hear my microphone doing that. Sorry. <laughs> but I do like to do, if you're doing the seven skin method, ooh, that's really thin, you just take just a little bit and press it into your hand, then you press it into your face, but I'm gonna do that on my neck with this. So, it feels really good. Um, like I said, um, I think if you get too much of it at once and don't let it absorb, it would get a little sticky. Um, but if you just use a little bit, pat it in, let it absorb, and then do a little bit each time, I think it would be okay. And it's just a few drops. And I like this because you could actually, it doesn't just pour out, you can actually just get a little drop, which is nice because sometimes you get these and they just, you get way too much, they pour. And that one you could get a drop. Okay, so put some on my arms. I always, always treat my arms too with a uh, product. Wow, we're already into 11 minutes in the video and we haven't even, we've only talked about two things. My gosh. Okay, then they, um, also in my box was two sheet masks and um, I got the MediHeal WHP, which is a white hydrating black mask. And then the Natural Friend Moisture Mask. That one's going to be good for moisturization. Those, they don't tell the price on those. Um, but anyway. And then um, there is a face mist. And this is the Super Aqua Moist Facial Mist. And what does it have? It is with Sea Grape Argan and it is supposed to deliver moisture to your dry skin and keep it moist all the time and the price of it is it's on this sheet um, ten dollars and it's um, a soothing no i didn't get what did i get the super oils okay contains sea grape and argan seed extract to improve skin dryness and nourish skin and then the other one that you could have got was the aloe vera um, gel mist but anyway you can use this um, before or after makeup you can use it throughout the day to refresh this might even be something that would be nice to put into the ice box and kind of keep it in the ice box um, and keep it nice and cool and um, try it I don't know what the smell of it is It has some kind of seal on it, but I can't see what the seal is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, can't see anything, especially in the morning time. My eyes haven't woken up yet. Okay, let's see if we can see the. Can you see the spray? Can you see that mist? Hmm, it smells. Has it like a fresh? scent to it almost like spa-ish almost hmm. so anyway we'll try that <laughs> I don't know how much it did on put it on my mask but anyway and then the next two products I was really excited to see these in here because um, I'm all about trying some new um, skincare but this is from Max Clinic it's the propolis barrier ampule and it is in this huge bottle. I mean, look how big that is. It looks like it's glass, but it's not. It's a hard plastic and has a really nice um, dropper on it. I think I will take some of this and put on my neck. I'm trying to see what kind of scent that has. It almost has like a... Um, I guess maybe a honey scent to it. Does it have a honey scent to it? It's almost like a little bit of a spice, too. I don't know. But 
just going to pat some of that onto my neck and let's see what it says about that. Oh, I guess I gotta put my glasses on. Sorry, can't see. Uh, the Max Clinic Ampule, this is $48, and the box itself is um, 30 something plus tax and free shipping. And I got the prop Propolis Barrier which is replenishes moisture and nutrients to your skin from Manuka honey, royal jelly, and ceramide by creating strong skin barrier and enhancing skin moisture balance. So yes, and I really have been getting into using a lot of honey products here lately. I um, was using some of my Retin-A and I got a little bit overzealous with it and I, my skin when I use Retin-A, a lot of people it will their skin peels and I don't know mine doesn't peel um, I think it's because I do so much exfoliation anyway that it doesn't I don't notice the peeling but when I notice is that I've I've gone a little bit overboard with it is I will start getting like raw spots on my face especially like right in here around my nose around my lips and a couple spots up here on my head or on my forehead and then my face will just hurt. I mean, just to touch it, it just stings. Anyway, I know, I know, and I know not to do that. I know not to use a Retin-A product that's prescription every single night. I know that, but I did anyway. So I've been <laughs> recovering my skin, and so I've been using a lot of honey stuff that's just very um, moisturizing and just really good for the skin. So I was glad to see that. So I can definitely add that in to my regime. And then the last thing that was in this box is an eye cream. And this is the Real Ginseng Eye Wrinkle Solution Treatment. And this is from the brand from Nature. You can see my mask is starting to kind of dry up. I didn't, I didn't get quite enough stuff on there. I didn't. But anyway, that is this. And it's in this really pretty tube. I mean, first of all, this packaging is so pretty. I mean, look at that red and gold. Oh, that's so pretty. But here's the tube here. And this is like a huge, huge tube of eye cream. Um, let's see if we can tell how big this is. Let's see. Oh, my little paper here. Um, da -da -da -da. $22. Hey, that's not bad for an eye, an eye product, especially this big. How big is this? 30 mil. Wow. And this is made in Korea. And it's the um, yeah from nature. That's what I yeah the brain from nature. Um, it contains contains thirty three percent red ginseng extract to protect and improve skin elasticity. Um, red ginseng also helps smooth, moisturize, and improve skin tone. Okay, you can also apply it in other problem areas on the face or neck that's needing a wrinkle care. So you could use this other places other than on the neck. Oh man, that packaging is just so pretty. Just beautiful. So anyway, wow. That's quite a bit of stuff for the amount that I paid, I mean, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 96, plus the, the sheet mask, so like $100 worth of products in here. Not bad, not bad at all. So anyway, let's take this little sheet mask off because I think we've had it on long enough. It's starting to dry. Um, and that's, that's a tip for when you're doing a sheet mask. I mean, you don't want to leave them on so long that they start to dry out because then you're just taking back out of your skin um, what you just put in because your sheet mask as it's starting to dry is going to start pulling from your skin to hydrate itself so oh see not bad so let's put um, this little purplest stuff on really quick onto the face I'm gonna get quite a bit there probably don't need that much but like I said my skin has just been a little irritated which is my fault I did it I irritated it I know better than that and then I kind of just go up on this rest part of my neck that I didn't do a minute ago 
to pat it in really good. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. You can definitely smell the honey in it. That was definitely. And then I'm going to use some of this eye cream under my eyes because I needed to finish my skincare routine anyway. So I'm put that much. And we're just going to pat that on. Oh, that feels good. Definitely like a gel, gel consistency almost. And that, that absorbs in really good too. Put this on this one. Wow, that feels good. Alrighty. And then put a little bit up here on my eyelid. So I have dry eyelids. Just put a little bit because I'm gonna be doing my my makeup here in a little bit and I don't want my eyelids can't be too moisturized or it's my eyeshadow will just crease and everything. But wow, that feels good. So let's go ahead and do a little spritz of this. Just I really like the mist on that. That's nice. It doesn't just overly saturate your face like in one spot. You know how some of them do and you're just like you've been shot with a water hose. But anyway, so that's it. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this type of video where I kind of demoed the products and um, I'll talk to you soon.